Hey guys, David here. So um, I've been eyeing this spot on Google Earth for about three weeks now, and I finally found some time to sneak over here, um, try and cut some carp. I actually have seen, there's definitely a 20 pounder in here, plus there's one cruising around over here all the time. So um, I'm gonna see if I can't get them. So I know these fish aren't really that pressure. There's actually one fish over there. So um, I'm just chucking some chum out there right now. So this is just crushed up boily, strawberry, um, vanilla extract, and that's really it. So I'm not gonna try to go too crazy, but I also, also wanna catch something. So we'll see, there's two fish right there. So we'll see what happens. I'm trying to stay really low because they're they're right there. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm just using a method lead. This is an ounce and a half. That's all I had. It's a hybrid a hybrid method lead. <clears throat> um, got some anti-tangle sleeve on there, it's about a foot and a half. A little bit longer than the rig itself. And I'm just using my clam shrimp boilies, tucking one of those on there. Um, then I have a pe little tiny piece of fake corn. <clears throat> this is just the hair stop. So I'm using um, the fake corn. I've actually come to like it because if there's a lot of obviously pest fish around like sunfish, um, that type of thing, they're not gonna, this isn't gonna get wiped clean. And I also put some blowback tubing on there to help with the hook set. Yeah, this is an interesting spot, super shallow in here. So I should put some more in there. This is a little too watery, but making a mess because I'm rushing. So I gotta be um, at a restaurant in about three hours. So trying to make the most of it. Alright. Yeah, there's what there's one fish over there. Oh shoot, there's one right there too. He's eating the they're eating the chum. Alright. So I'm gonna set this nice and low. Alright, uh, bait runners on. I'll loosen this up a little bit. Yeah, these reels are fantastic. These um, Daiwa bait runners. If I could, I would buy more, but I don't need them. Alright, I'm going to set up the other rod. I'm going to chuck it possibly a little bit farther down. I'm hoping for a Maricarp today also, but we'll see. Fish on. Fish on. It's not a big one, but I really hope it's a maricarp. I think this is shallow enough I can almost walk to the other side. I think it's a common. It's a common? Yep. It's a little one. Still got my bait and everything, fantastic. All right, that was a nice quick bite. All right. Wow, this fish is like real, it's really warm. Um, yeah, so this is just a little, little tiny baby common carp. Actually hooked him on the top of the mouth. Really strong fish. finger out of his skin. Yeah, nice little fish. Oop, there you go. Yeah, sturdy little fish. All right. Let's see if there's another one cruising around. Guys, look at this spot right here. How beautiful is this? 
I think I see fish right there, actually. Let's go see how big they are. Or it's a big turtle. Can you guys, I don't know if you guys can see that, look. He doesn't look that big. And there's actually another one closer to me that you can't see. Look at that. Look, there's one right there. There's one there. I can't tell if that's one or two. That might be two. I could go scoop him right now. Whew. Something keeps messing with this one, but I can't tell if it's a catfish or if it's a turtle or a really, really small carp. <clears throat> Those two carp that were over here headed off that way, but they weren't very big. They're probably maybe five pounds, so. <clears throat> like I said, I know there's at least one very large carp cruising around in here. I've seen them hopping out of the water. Yeah, and this river goes way, way up over there. So yeah, we'll, we're waiting right now to see if we can't get a bite. See, this one's starting to bounce right now. Ooh, Ooh that was a bite. Oh man. That was a hit and a miss. It actually looked like the carp felt the hook, so I'd be, yeah, I'd be surprised if it came back for it. Oh, see. Oh, that was a mess, damn it. I don't think that was a huge one, but still disappointing. Emotional damage. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I got a, oh man, I got a quite a ways to walk back. Um, got a couple of really nice bites. I got one probably I don't know, five to eight pound fish. Um, I didn't see anything else really big in here. I did miss one good bite and he pulled the hook, so that was on me. But yeah, I think this spot just needs some. We need some good rainfall and it'll push the fish back over here. But yeah, really shallow place, really cool to watch the fish come over and eat your stuff. This is all the chum that I put over here earlier. It's still there, so um, yeah. All right, you guys, thank you for watching and um, Albies are coming in soon. We got Benito and what else? Yeah, fall, fall run's about to start, so I'm pumped. So, all right, guys, if you like this video, please give a like and subscribe. And sorry I didn't catch a ton of fish today, but just wanted to get out. Thank you.